GM just revealed an all-new $8,000 pickup truck and it's shocking everyone. Not just because it's affordable, but also because it's capable and reliable as you want your truck to be. And honestly, to offer something like this at this price is shocking, and it's a bit surprising at first, but it all makes sense when you get to the details. So let's start with the obvious question. Why? Let's be real, these days, the cost of everything seems to have skyrocketed to new heights. When you hear someone dropping $8,000 for a truck, it's only natural to raise an eyebrow in disbelief. Just think about it, the titans like Ford, Ram, and Chevrolet have always been the reigning champions. They've rolled out a diverse lineup of trucks, perfectly tailored to cater to every imaginable need, whether you're hauling heavy cargo or cruising in luxury. But let's address the elephant in the room. The price tags on these beasts have caused quite a stir, leaving many potential buyers feeling a bit hesitant to loosen their purse strings. So naturally, we decided to roll up our sleeves and delve deeper into this matter. What's driving these price hikes, you ask? Well, with inflation rearing its head, it seems like everything is riding the wave. Not just vehicles, but the whole economy. But guess what? The winds of change are blowing, my friend, and trust me, it's not just a passing breeze. Now, let's be honest, nobody expected GM to take charge in this. They've been going through their own struggles, and although Mary Barra has done some questionable things, this is the perfect truck to right their wrong. She's got her sights locked on the masses, aiming to offer a solid, reliable truck without emptying your bank account. GM is pulling out all the stops to make this truck a reality, and is sending shockwaves through the competition. They're scrambling to recalibrate their strategies to keep pace with this new era of affordability. But we know what's on your mind. Just how good can this truck really be? Well, buckle up, because we're about to spill all the juicy details. Performance GM really nailed it this time. They're not skimping on anything when it comes to this truck. They're doing something different this time, and it's all about giving the people what they crave. It's like their golden rule these days. They've got a reputation for delivering rides you can count on, so why mess with a winning formula? But let me tell you, they're not about to gamble with their reliability just to cut corners and churn out cheap vehicles. And here's the thing, GM isn't just about reliability here. This baby's been crafted for those who need power, reliability that's as solid as a rock, and efficiency all rolled into one. Sure, it might not be the flashy show-off you see plastered all over the internet, but it looks good and is simple and easy on the eyes. Think of it as the sensible choice in a sea of overpriced, gas-guzzling monsters. It's not out to be a workhorse, but it'll handle your day-to-day -day like a champ. You know what's truly mind-blowing? This bad boy not only packs a punch with its cutting-edge entertainment features, but also throws in all the must-have bells and whistles. Well, okay, maybe not everything, but hey, close enough. Let's get real here, though. GM needs to kick it up a notch if they're aiming to roll with the heavyweights in the urban jungle. The burning question is, how are they going to pull this off? Because, let's face it, that's the secret source for outshining the competition. If you ask me, they've done the best thing to do, and they'll be winning just because of that. Let me explain. Functionality and Practicality Since the revival of the compact truck market, a lot of companies have been announcing their game plans, and let me tell you, these days it's all about laser-focusing on one killer feature while cutting back a tad on the extras. Sounds a bit unconventional, right? But this strategy is a game-changer, because there's more to this than just a market shakeup. Barra's call rings out like a wake-up call for the entire industry, signaling a seismic shift in consumer preferences and how car manufacturers are keeping pace. There's a real appetite out there for rides that won't leave your wallet weeping, ones that just get the job done without any fancy frills. It's a blend of watching the pennies and a yearning for simplicity that's driving this shift in gears. Look at Ford's Maverick and Toyota's Land Cruiser, they're prime examples of this winning formula in action. Both automakers have embraced it, and guess what? It's paying off big time. By going all in on one standout aspect and trimming the fat elsewhere, they're not only keeping their profit margins healthy, but also slashing the sticker price. And let's be real here, folks. Car companies are in the game to make money. They're not about to gamble with that for anything. So you're probably wondering how they managed to shave off features without leaving us feeling short-changed, huh? It's actually quite straightforward. They make the narration focus on the catchy gimmick, and that is it, we're hooked. With the Maverick, it's all about being slick and dependable. 
For the Land Cruiser, it's that timeless vintage vibe matched with unparalleled off-road prowess. And for this one? Well, it's likely a fusion of efficiency, retro flair, and practicality. It's not bad at all, really. I mean, if it's the only way we can snag trucks without breaking the bank, why not roll with it? And here's the real kicker. Believe it or not, those flashy gimmicks aren't even necessary. The true star of the show, practicality hands down. But hold on tight, because there's a big reason why they're all leaning in the same direction, and we're about to unravel that mystery in just a sec. But before we jump into the deep end, there's a crucial point we've got to tackle head-on, because it'll change the market forever. Competition and challenges So, let's dive into it. GM's got a whole bunch of hurdles to jump over before they can unleash their truck onto the market, and let me tell you, it's no walk in the park. But hey, nobody said this game was going to be easy, right? First things first, they've got to keep a tight grip on that budget. Now, I'm not saying it's a piece of cake, but we've already talked about how they can make it happen. Sticking to that budget often means cutting corners on quality and durability. And trust me, that's not something we're going to overlook. Who would buy an affordable truck if it only meant you were going to spend a lot more on maintenance every month? But here's where it gets really interesting. Even if they manage to tackle these challenges head-on, GM's still facing an uphill battle. How are they going to convince people who have been looking and wanting the overpriced trucks the market has been flooded with? And truth be told, they are very cool and appealing trucks. They've got to work some serious magic to make us believe that rolling the dice on an untested, unproven truck is a smarter bet than sticking with a tried-and-true brand that's earned its stripes time and time again. And let me tell you, that's no small hurdle. But here's the thing, if GM hits the mark this time, forget about glitches and unreliability. We'll be too busy marveling at what it does best, and that's what seals the deal. That's where the whole market buzz we were talking about earlier really comes into play. Look at the Maverick, for example. It caused a stir with its affordability and efficiency when it first dropped. No one even bothered to hold out for the next version to iron out any potential kinks, despite the laundry list of issues it has. But man, did it make an impact. Orders poured in faster than they could keep up with the demand within a week. That's the kind of hype GM needs to drum up to, even though bridging the gap between supply and demand won't be a walk in the park. But let's keep it real. Even if this truck doesn't knock it out of the park, the anticipation is off the charts already. All eyes are glued to GM's next big reveal. Alright folks, buckle up because it's about to get wild. Just like the hype train that rolled in with the Maverick launch, GM is gearing up for a roller coaster ride of its own. Get ready to hold onto your wallets tight because prices are likely to skyrocket as dealerships scramble to meet demand once again. But the Maverick saga was a cautionary tale, reminding us how quickly things can go south, so there's a glimmer of hope in the air. Armed with the wisdom of history, maybe, just maybe, we can dodge those same old pitfalls this time around. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.